Hello everyone, this is a tutorial uh, on testing on EPROM. We can utilize EPROM uh, to store the string and then recall it uh, to and print it on the display. Here, a uh, simple uh, function for LCD and a function I written uh, to recall that string from the EPROM and then print it to the LCD. Here uh, I uh, call this function and call, uh, looking for the address uh, 0 to 0 f and printing it to 1 by 1 point. Okay. Now uh, how can you edit uh, that EPROM so that you can get the string here on the display. A circuit uh, diagram is made here in a Proteus simulation. We can test our code here. Uh, now uh, let's see how we can edit the EPROM. For this, uh, go to Tools or Micro C, then EPROM Editor. Uh, now here, uh, this can be filled with uh, 0xff or 0x00. Uh, it should fill either way. I uh, fill it with uh, zero, 0 now in 0 position I will write uh, a string on PROM okay. uh, now uh, be careful here to select the full address not uh, excess or not less which this will get actually uh, this will actually create a problem in other parts. In uh, one zero position, I will write read and print. If uh, it is not filled, uh, then take a space, then edit and fill by zero, or you can double click uh, that or here here you should fill these uh, spaces with a space okay now save build it do that file i will uh, show you how how to do the for the first time then you can do it yourself here uh, that program EPROM editor actually uh, created a file dot ihex now uh, copy it and rename it by uh, bin file okay something dot bin now here in Proteus uh, go to initial contents of EPROM then select this file string or EPROM read and print okay now uh, let's uh, send this and check uh, how we can uh, change or how we can edit okay to do do that simply go to here string on EPROM or string EPROM Say 20, no, not 20. Plus a space. Testing and print. Okay. Save and build. Now see string EPROM testing and print as we written in our EPROM. But surprising fact is uh, this code actually consuming very little RAM and ROM. If you uh, want to use it multiple time, 
they need to actually take only the RAM and ROM required to run this function. If you can check uh, here, it is almost same. Okay. Now you can uh, edit uh, different text here, different string here, and recall it uh, multiple times or many times as you require. But be careful that this function also need some RAM and ROM so you should have a limit let's see uh, how we can uh, do some more or how we can show more As you see, uh, we actually printed a mini text about a string on LCD that should uh, consume uh, a, a sum of RAM and ROM. But here, surprisingly, if you check, it is only uh, consuming 15% and 12% RAM and ROM correspondingly. But <coughs> if you comment this out, is only 9% and 15% so it is actually not consuming any RAM at all but it's only few ROM so guys uh, you uh, have I think so uh, I think uh, you have found a way uh, to save your flash or my flash memory. to save the microcontroller flash memory and utilize the AP ROM to store the string and recall it and print it and use it for any purpose okay uh, thank you see you next time